Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. We are at Value Village. Come thrifty with us today. Hopefully, we find some amazing thrift finds. If we don't, that's okay, too, because at least we got some footage for YouTube. If you're new here, we are a thrifting channel, a reselling channel. We buy things from the thrift store to resell, to make a profit, make money. That's our livelihood. That's how we make money. That's how we pay the mop bills, okay? So join me today on my thrifting adventures. What did Daniel buy? <laughs> okay. We've been to one, two, three, four, five, six thrift stores. We bought one thing and nothing even to resell. Um, okay. So we're at the, at the Value Village where I had an incident with, with the manager. Um, <laughs> I haven't really run into her in like, I guess it's been like two weeks two and a half weeks since that happened but I ran into her today and she was friendly she was friendly she acknowledged me she said good morning she looked delightful so bygones be bygones and I guess she was just having a really rough day that day so and most of the employees were like nice and said hi to me so that was nice okay so I, I guess you know keeping it professional is very um it's appreciated so i guess we're we're okay now we're 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 fine now at this value village <laughs> will i ask for a price reduction hell no will i ask for a favor hell no just i guess got to keep it courteous and professional when it comes to this value village anyway um oh my god i want to talk to you guys uh, about something um yesterday i actually watched the entire academy awards it was airing on cable tv but I don't have cable TV anymore. So I ended up streaming it on that cable TV's app uh, or their website. I was able to stream it. So I watched the entire Academy Awards from 7 p.m. till 10.30 p.m. <laughs> on my computer. And I actually thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, I, the host, Jimmy Kimmel, he was okay. Thought it could be better. Uh, the jokes were okay but not super super funny but oh everybody that won i wanted to win uh i wanted everything everywhere all at once to win best picture it won best picture i wanted them to win best director one best director uh because the director one is gay and one is asian so hello can you get more <laughs> more minority than that um I wanted the asian guy from that movie to win best supporting actor he won best supporting actor uh, best Supporting Actress, I was tied between Jamie Lee Curtis, because I watched that movie, okay? I actually paid to watch Everything Everywhere all at once. I saw the trailer, and I was like, oh, did I understand what the fuck was going on? Hell to the no, <laughs> but I still watched the whole thing. Um, I watched the, the movie, like, this was, like, back in maybe, like, October, November of last year, and I really didn't understand it, but I, I watched the whole thing. I loved Michelle Yeoh's performance. I loved Ken... Ken's performance I loved Jamie Lee Curtis's performance oh my god Jamie Lee Curtis in that movie was so good um and based on that I wanted her to win the Academy Award and I've also always liked Jamie Lee Curtis as an actress but I was tied between Jamie Lee Curtis and Angela Bassett granted I've never seen Wakanda forever I did see clips of her performance and they're very emotional and Angela Bassett is just an amazing actress. Like, she is... I guess she would be one of my favorite actresses, too. <clears throat> Usually, anything that Angela Bassett does, I am all over it. I love Angela Bassett. And I would have been okay with Angela Bassett winning. I, was, I would have been okay with Angela winning or Jamie Lee Curtis. I'm actually happy that Jamie Lee Curtis won. Just because I watched her performance and I thought it was amazing. But the big award for me is Best Actress. That's always been my favorite um category oh michelle yo won oh my god i'm so excited for her um she is the first asian to win an academy award for best actress the first asian can you believe it and she is only the second woman of color to win an academy award for best actress the first being was over 20 over two decades ago halle berry became the first woman of color to win an academy award for best actress the Academy Awards have been around, around since, what, the 1930s? And there's only been two women of color to win Best Actress? That's fucked. So if you ask me, that is fucked beyond. And 
even then not a lot of not a lot of women, women of color are being nominated either like it's uh, i feel like not only is it a race thing it's like a woman thing and don't tell me it's not about good parts because i watch a lot of women in color in movies who i feel like deserve academy award at least bare minimum a nomination you know anyway i think that's so screwed up that only two women of color have won in the last uh, almost 100 years of the academy awards anywho <laughs> I was also happy that Brendan Fraser won. Although his speech looked was kind of a little crazy. I wasn't really understanding a lot of his speech. Although I can understand it because he was very like shocked. Um, it was between really between him and Austin Butler for Elvis. They were like neck and neck in that in that category. Um, but yeah, I was really happy with everybody who won at the Academy Awards. If you haven't checked it out, watch that movie. Everything, everywhere, all at once. It's super fucked up. It's like... It's basically like a uh, Matrix. It's basically like the Matrix slash Run Lola Run slash... Um, it's all fucked. I don't even understand the movie really. But I still kind of enjoy it. Or it reminds me of like something like Black... Was it Black? No. Um, Black Mirror? Like something along those lines where it's like... Anyway, good movie. Good night. I enjoyed the Academy Awards. I don't know. I haven't really been into the Academy Awards in a long time like I haven't watched it fully in a long time and up until maybe like the 2000 and mid 2010s is when I used to follow it religiously um it, I was so obsessed with the Academy Awards and of course the best actress category that I can I could name every Academy Award winner from 1990 till I think maybe like late 2010s mid 2010s okay. and of course Daniel has not seen this movie Girls Trip, one of my fave movies. It was so funny. It's a Blu-ray digital download and the DVD. So for $5, I feel like I tried to watch this somewhere, but it wasn't streaming. And that's the reason why sometimes I'll still buy Blu-rays and DVDs. If it is a movie that I cannot find to stream anywhere. The thing is about streaming is sometimes they lose their licensing and they take it off of Netflix or it's not on Amazon. Usually you can find everything on Amazon Prime. But they want you to fucking rent it. I am freaking paying for a monthly subscription fee and renting movies. Fuck that shit. Okay. Um, as you can see, the regular price was $23.79. But yeah, I feel like they're they went up in price, Blu-rays. I feel like these used to be $4.99 and DVDs used to be $2.99. But I think DVDs are now $3.99 and these Blu-rays are $6.99. Body Village is sometimes annoying. Hey slut bombs, welcome back to the video. Before I show you what we thrifted, I do want to answer a couple of emails that I got yesterday. I printed them out old school. What's up? Okay. I feel like this is a good series to do is answering emails and questions because, you know. Okay, here's one from Sean, Lady Badger. Good morning. I sent a comment a few weeks ago stating I found you funny, but a bit vulgar. Ooh. I am reaching out because as I have watched your videos, I found you to actually be extremely funny. Duh. And an absolute delight. Questionable. <laughs> anyway, I apologize for being all judgy. I have a few friends watching you now, too. And we are wondering how do we buy from you? Would you ship to the U.S.? Happy Monday, Sean Lady Badger. Well, Sean, <laughs> um, I've always been vulgar. I feel like it's like I'm not this way in person. It's literally just an act, obviously. Um, well, not an act, but I feel like I'm acting when it comes to YouTube. So it is kind of like a very embellished, um, overemphasized version of me in person. In person, I'm like really shy, uh, but I am like a vulgar and profane with friends. <laughs> so uh what else did he ask <laughs> sorry what did they ask i don't know if how i should address you so i would just be i'll just use they and them uh, yes i do ship. i only usually ship to the u.s and canada because uh shipping is already expensive i've i've shipped to london england and i've shipped to dubai super mother freaking expensive uh shipping usually is incorporated in the price when i give you a price where do you buy? I used to post things on my selling page, 
but I find most of my sales now are made through Instagram, my regular Instagram. So my Instagram is Miss Philly, the same name as YouTube. Usually someone will see something on my Instagram story or my YouTube video and they'll message me asking to buy it. I charge in US prices because when I factor in the conversion, then I actually make a little bit of money off of it. So yes, I do ship to the US and if you, how do you buy if you want to buy anything if you watch the video and you see something or if you follow me on my instagram and see something on my story we can work out a deal if not then i'll say no that's too low <laughs> so thank you sean for your email my second email is from ivy ivy love your youtube channel you're entertaining funny pretty and smart if that's the case, Ivy, where my husband at? Where my boyfriend at? Where? You know so much about purses, usually. I've been a purse reseller in Calgary for about six months, and I was wondering if you could give me a bit of advice. If you're too busy, no prob. But if not, here are a few questions. I have eBay, Poshmark, Kijiji, Facebook Marketplace. Sometimes you say you'll sell a purse locally. What does that mean? When I say I, I sell something locally, it means I sold it within my city. So I, I sold it either through a Facebook group or Facebook marketplace or someone locally who follows me will message me and be like, hey, I want that bag and I'll drop it off at their house. So that's what I mean when I say selling it locally it means local where I live. Is Value Village the best place to shop? Any other advice? Value Village is the best place to shop IMO, in my opinion. They are the biggest of the thrift stores. They get most of the inventory. They have a deal set in place with uh, Boys and Girls of uh, Canada, as well as Diabetes Foundation. So they get a lot of their donations from there and they have a lot of people donating to them anyway, like in their donation bins. So is Value Village the best place to shop? In my opinion, yes it is but i don't mainly just shop there i do check out salvation armies sometimes goodwills sometimes the smaller uh thrift shops now the key for to be a successful thrifter is frequency and variety so the more you go the more likely you'll find something more places you go the more likely you're going to find something so keep that in mind but i have had most of my success at value village but i also like salvation army a lot <laughs> uh any other advice uh advice um one of my main advices is to know your market and who you're selling to you're in calgary and i'm in winnipeg here in winnipeg michael kors coach kate spade they sell really well as long as i can get it at a good price point but i know in places like vancouver and toronto is dead you can't let those shit go for thirty dollars so, but for me, I can sell Michael Kors, Coach, Kate Spade for between low end, if it's really well worn, $20. On the high end, I've been able to sell them in the hundreds, like maybe 150. But again, it's dependent on style, condition, whether it's an outlet bag or a boutique bag. There's just so many factors that go into, into um, whether, or not, whether or not something you're going to sell will sell. So because I know my market, I'm very familiar with Winnipeg. I've had years of experience selling here, uh, but I also know my market other places. Like I have customers who just want luxury. I have customers who want vintage coach. I want, I have customers who are looking for more of the unique pieces. So it's really dependent. And once you get into the groove of it, groove of it and you see what's selling for you, then I, then I think you'll get more of an, uh, an understanding of what will sell for you and what won't um just case in point nancy my friend nancy she has so much success with aritzia anthropology lululemon me no i don't have success with anthropology lululemon and aritzia uh i my my main thing is bags and accessories sometimes the odd clothing here and there but i've come to learn that a lot of my customers just like for the most part like the higher end stuff Anyway, keep up the great work, Ashley. You and Daniel are super cute together. Ew, we're friends. I'm just kidding. I'm in Palm Springs right now and I checked out a thrift store yesterday and it wasn't great. It wasn't great that day, but it might be great on another day. It might just be like they are haven't restocked because their restocking is 
on a Friday, you know? Uh, and it wasn't great. Uh, you'd think with all these rich bitches here, <laughs> there'd be something good. There probably is. Don't give up. I'm gonna check out some more while I'm here. Perfect, perfect um, advice right there. Check out more while you're there. And hit back the other one on a different day or a different time. So thank you to the people who sent me an email. I appreciate it. Now let's get right back into the haul. Okay, uh, aside from the girls trip uh, Blu-ray DVD, we picked up this fossil. I usually don't pick up wallets that are fossil, but for $8, it was super cheap and it's in like such good condition. It's like literally brand new. I don't think anybody used it. I think there's just a little bit of like scuffing on it because it's been tossed around in the donation bin. But this is actually a good wallet and Fossil's leather is superior. Okay, so you have a front flap there for coins or cards. Then the back one is a button snap closure. You have cards here, coins there, ID there, and it opens like that. See, they didn't even remove the sticker there. And then you have another uh, zip pocket up here. There's just so much compartments, guys. And again, like I've reiterated so much, so many times in the past, Fossil has such amazing leather. $8 for that cannot go wrong. Which one are we going to do next? Okay, let's do this one. Let's wait for the ambulance to go by. Okay, so Burberry's, uh, I had this already in a Burberry's as well but it's a little bit shorter. This one is like their full length scarf. So it, it it falls longer past my breasticles, but it is authentic. It is older. It is Burberry's. So it is Burberry before they were Burberry. Here it is. There's the Burberry's of London, 100% cashmere made in England. It is super soft, guys. I was surprised. Whenever I find like this pattern, it's usually like not Burberry. But it's so cute. I love it. It's their regular pattern, which will help it sell for more money because it is their quintessential beige check pattern. And it's in perfect condition. I don't think it's even been worn. Literally nowhere, no holes, no staining, no rips. Perfection galore. Super cute. And last but certainly not least, it, it was only a three, a three, well, four item thrift day. We picked this up and you might think, okay, whatever it is, what it is. Is it? Is it? Is what it is? <laughs> this is a Mark Jacobs quilted bag, but not Mark by Mark Jacobs. This is Mark Jacobs, high end Mark Jacobs made in motherfucking Italy, okay? <laughs> so it is his higher end line. At first I thought, because it just says Mark Jacobs, because okay, this is what happened to Mark Jacobs. Mark Jacobs is its own brand. Now he has Marc Jacobs, which is his high-end line, Mike, Mark by Marc Jacobs, which is his diffusion more. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Mark by Marc Jacobs, which is his more affordable line. Well, then he changed it. Like, I think maybe the last three or four years, maybe five, he changed it all to just be Marc Jacobs. So no more Mark by Marc Jacobs. Marc Jacobs is just Marc Jacobs. He has you know, I don't even know if he still has his expensive line. But anyway, this one is his expensive line. It is a shoulder bag with a flap. And then it has a front flap, a zip compartment here. And then another uh, open compartment here and a zip compartment here. There's a little bit of staining right there. I don't know if we could get that out, but I don't give a fuck. Um, and then inside it says, there's a tag that says uh, made in Italy and a code. Made in Italy and then the code right there. So it is his higher end bag and we paid a six fifty, dollars and then we used a freaking $2 off coupon. So it became $5 for a Marc Jacobs made in Italy bag. I'm going to see what the model is and put it up here, what the retail is or what it sells for use. But it was definitely a good score. I am happy with my three items. <sighs> I hope you guys are doing well. Don't forget to remain positive, productive, and progressive. Keep manifesting those dreams because it will come true. And I'm happy that you guys joined me on my thrift adventures today. We manifested it. We manifested luxury. We manifested good quality items. And 
You know, it's not about the quantity. It's about the quality. Okay. I love you guys. Be safe. Okay. As, as I was waiting, I was doing some research on the bag. This is called the Marc Jacobs single quilted flap bag. Um, it was, it sold at Bergdorf Goodman's back in like the mid 2000s, late 2000s to early 2010s for $6.75 back then. $6.75 guys is what this retailed for um, back then. Um, I see it all over the place on online. I see some for $2.70, $2.50. I see some for $90, but that one sold already. And it was, so it's, I guess, depending on the condition. This one is in great condition. Um, there is some wear to it, but nothing like major or extreme. So I would probably say this is about, um, I would say $150 bag, especially since it's Marc Jacobs made in Italy and based on the condition. Anyway, I just wanted to add that in.